We have a floor. <laughs> plywood, XPS, and then mini cell, but this is spray foam on the outside. Our van came with a cargo floor, so we were able to just take it out, cut it in half to make it easier to work with, and then traced the existing holes onto the XPS insulation. So we're just test fitting where the diesel heater is going to go. Make sure there's space for it. We have to make sure that the diesel heater cutout doesn't go into the support bracing underneath the van. Ready? Just trace the cutout and then we'll cut it out into the insulation and then we'll trace it onto the floor through the insulation. Perfect. So this is a turret mount for the diesel heater and it's going to go through the metal floor and this the exhaust will go through here so if it leaks this will be sealed and it can't get into the van. And the heater just poked through that. Josh is drilling through the floor of the van as part of the install for the diesel heater. So we have to cut this area out for the mount and the diesel heater. It's just probably going to be because of the ridges on the actual floor area. Okay, I've been tasked with having to get a video from the outside. I'm going to be laying down here, so wish me luck. POV the van seeing me underneath videoing. All right, under we go. Here's the turret mount and just drilling the holes for it. So I covered up anything on the floor that wasn't perfect paint just as an extreme precaution for rust. But there was probably only two or three tiny little dots of actual rust. But I just kind of painted everything else because it's just going to get covered. I'm about to install mini cell foam in all of these channels to kind of make it flat. So I'll put foam like here and here to make it flush with this and then I'll put the pink foam over top. And this is my pile of foam strips that I've cut.
I finished gluing down all of the mini cell foam between all of the metal on the floor. There's the solar panel wire that's through the ceiling there. And it's ready for the one inch XPS foam to go on top. We are using GE Advanced silicone to glue the XPS down to the mini cell and to the van floor. So we've been really hard at work installing the floor. We put silicone down on the pink insulation and laid that and then we put PL300 down on the uh, in between the pink insulation and the subfloor and then now we have laid as much as possible on the floor to kind of weigh it down and hope that it clamps together and is even. That was a big task. We have some tires in there and a bunch of other heavy odds and ends. Alright, here's what our weighted down floor is looking like. I'm reinstalling the floor and putting these bolts back in. You want to make sure you put Loctite on every single bolt that you put in a vehicle because there's so much vibration when you're driving that if you don't Loctite it, the bolts will just vibrate loose. All the gaps around the floor are spray foamed and then it'll just get trimmed off with a knife. Pretty easy. Now I'm making a gasket with RTV silicone gasket maker which is good up to 650 Fahrenheit which is gonna go around the exhaust of the diesel heater.
And there's the diesel heater turret plate sealed in place. We use a scraper to scrape out the excess spray foam.